I think every parent has wondered why their baby is crying at some point. What exactly do they want? Well, a local mother and speech pathologist is helping parents communicate with their babies. New tonight at 7, 24 Hour News 8's Emily Leonard shows us how babies can actually learn sign language as young as six months old. Parents know how that first smile or that first word from their baby can make their hearts soar. But raising kids is not all butterflies and rainbows. Communication breakdowns start way before the teenage years. They start as soon as our babies are born. Bring your thumb down the side of your cheek. When speech pathologist Emily Goudreau became a mother, she was excited to enroll her son in baby sign language classes. She was surprised to find that class didn't exist locally. Well, that needs to be something our community has because it has such great benefits for families and for kiddos. As a speech pathologist working with babies and toddlers, she'd seen the benefits sign language could provide. Uh, bigger vocabularies, using longer sentences, and understanding more words. And those benefits last even longer than they sign. She went to work teaching these classes to parents and their children, toddlers and babies as young as six months old. Jenna McPherson is a first time mother to Sophia, who will be two in a month. She gets a little frustrated when she's trying to communicate. She doesn't say many words yet, so just as a way for her to be able to like talk to me and just giving us another outlet to use. Simple signs like milk, help, and sleepy can help bridge that gap of communication between little ones and their parents. Do you feel like it's valuable to you? Yeah, she's already signing a few words, which that's pretty cool because this is our third week now. Today's lesson revolves around food. These parents are learning how to sign apple, banana, cereal. Lessons they'll be able to take home and implement in their daily lives. Emily says the key is consistency. You have to pick the signs that you're going to work on and really try to consistently sign them at home with your baby every time. One of the most frequently asked questions Emily hears is, won't sign language impede the child's speech development? She says the answer is no, and there's plenty of research to back that up. We've linked some of that research to our story at woodtv.com. In studio, Emily Leonard, 24-Hour News 8.